Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Amanda Turner and I am a real estate agent in Lake Chapala, Mexico. Today, we are looking at three properties. These properties are in the price range of 630,000 US dollars to 795,000 US dollars. And I understand that a lot of my viewers aren't looking at homes in this price range. Um, the average buying selling price in this area is about three hundred fifty thousand dollars but you know i always like to be nosy and look inside people's homes so this is just a fun video but if this isn't your price range then you can just look inside people's homes you know what i'm saying get some decor ideas and whatnot and before i get started i just want to say that if you are looking to buy or sell in the lake chapala area you can email me at amanda at lake chapala realty.com if you're looking to buy and you're not in the area i can send you some listings send you a link to the mls and we can get started on your adventure of moving to Mexico because I know shit's getting a little whack up there. And if you are in the area, then let's go on tour. Let's check out some homes if you're ready to buy. If you are looking to sell, I can come do an opinion of value on your home and we can get started on that whole process. It's a very easy process. If you have any questions, feel free to email me as well. Also, feel free to check out my website, therealamandaturner.com, where you will find a link to the MLS. It takes you to my page with my listings, but you can get easily get out of that and just start browsing homes at your leisure if you'd like to from the MLS website. You'll also find a link to our bed and breakfast and our cafe, both just one best of Lake Chapala for best bed and breakfast and best coffee for the second year in a row in Best of Lake Chapala. And just FYI, every Wednesday at El Gato Feo Cafe is free Americanos all day, all day long, okay? We are open 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. every single day. So come check us out. We're doing some improvements to the cafe. We're adding a pastry cabinet. We're doing all kinds of good stuff. All right, let's get started. The first house we're looking at today is beautiful. I mean, all the homes on this uh inventory video today is very are they're all very beautiful this one has that old school mexican feel it's got uh a little bit of history to it and it's a big property so there's a lot of land where this house sits and the house is very uniquely designed i love old homes like this where you can kind of add to the historic nature of it and you know go shopping for like those really cool furniture pieces to put in your house i love it so much okay let's go check it out First house on tour is listed at 630,000 US dollars. It's a six bedroom, five bathroom on one level. Those bedrooms include the casita off to the side and that extra room that you'll also see off to the side that isn't part of the casita, it's actually part of the house, but you have to exit the home to get to it. You'll see in this video. Construction size is 491 square meters or 5,285 square feet. The lot size is 1,727 square meters or 18,589 square feet. It's not located in an HOA, therefore there are not any HOA fees. It comes furnished, which is nice because there's some nice things in there. And it's located in Chapala. Te elijo a ti para poder vivir 
Te elijo a ti, es lo que me hace sentir. Te elijo a ti. 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 Una cumbia fronteriza. Okay, guys, the first house we're looking at today is this property right here. So there's a little storage shed right back here for tools, lawnmower, gardening supplies, whatnot. Here's your uh, fountain, your garage, casita. This is where that little room off to the side was and your yard. You'll see that we are in the area called Lourdes, which is in Chapala, but it's not in the heart of Chapala. This is the highway that either leads you all the way into Jocotepec, passing Ribera, San Antonio, and Ajijic, or it comes over here into Chapala. So this is pretty much Chapala Central right here, and then this is your Malecon. There's quite a bit of traffic that backs up right on the highway right through here so you kind of you don't have to go through that to get to this house even though it is technically located in Chapala so your shopping would be right over here at Soriana this is like a Mexican uh, version of Walmart and I personally like Soriana much better than I like Walmart many pharmacies throughout here your fire department is up here so they would take this highway up and come down and your emergency services may also come from San Antonio Hospital right here. As far as dining options in Chapala, you've got a lot of good options. My favorite is Letra CH. They have quite a bit of seafood options and um, some other things on their menu, but there is so much going on here in Chapala. Okay, next home we're looking at is located in Rancho del Oro, which is in West Ajijic, and it's a gated community, but this is one of those that I was telling you is kind of laid back, like they're not telling you what to do with your house and things like that. So um, this house is beautiful. I love it so much. It has so much character. It's very unique. The kitchen, oh, I die. Okay, let's go see it.
Second house on tour is listed at 775,000 US dollars. It's a three bedroom, four and a half bathroom on two levels. Construction size is 363 square meters or 3,910 square feet. The lot size is 590 square meters or 6,351 square feet. It comes furnished, also very nice for this house because they got some nice pieces in there and it's located in West Ajijic. Alrighty, here's the second home that we have on tour today. This one is located in West Ajijic. So here's Ajijic Centro here. This area is pretty nice because uh, there's not a whole lot of traffic in this area, but you've got some cool stuff going on over here. So there's a brewery and a bakery right down in this area. Casa Linda is a very good restaurant. Smokehouse is pretty good. Or, oh, Vegan Town is really good. You do not need to be vegan to eat there. La Reserve is where Pancho's is. So you can go into there and, and go to Pancho's if you'd like to. Or go into Ajiji and do some of your shopping. But I would recommend going over here to Pancho's because it's a nice grocery store. And also, you don't have to hit all this Ajiji traffic. And then you've got Racket Club down here and San Juan Cosala. And this whole area is known for their geothermal water. And it's got a lot of healing properties. So they've got thermal water spas in there and everything too. It would take from that location 39 minutes to get to the airport in the previous home I would say you could knock about 10 or 15 minutes off of that maybe even a little bit more and it would only take you 20 to 30 minutes to get to the airport to get to Costco from this house you could either go this direction through the Hoko bypass or go through Ahihi and go up into Guadalajara to Costco right over here and it'll take you an hour and 12 minutes at Thursday evening at 4 p.m. and to drive into Ahihi from that house at this time of day would take you seven minutes. Okay, this next one we're looking at is located in Upper Ajijic and it is equally as beautiful. But the one thing I loved about this house, something about the energy when you walked into it, it just felt so cozy. It was like a house that was like hugging you, you know? I don't know if it was the decor. I don't know if they're saging that place or what's going on, but it felt great. So that is not going to come out in this video. What's going to come out in this video is how beautiful this house is, but you know, the energy in it, 
I don't know what was going on in there, but it felt nice. Let's go check it out. Third and final home on our tour today is listed at $795,000 US dollars. It's a three bedroom, three bathroom on one level. Construction size is 578 square meters or 6,222 square feet. The lot size is 778 square meters or 8,374 square feet. The HOA is 68,000 pesos annually, which comes to about Mm, 3500 to 4000 US dollars per year. It comes partially furnished and it's located in Upper Ajijic. Alrighty, here's the third house we're looking at. So this is kind of nice because you go in through the front gate, you come down this way, and then you have this little bit of private drive that goes into the house, the neighbor, or goes into your house right here, and then you have a covered parking area here. What's really cool about this house is there's a, a nice little seating picnic area here, and then if you go through this door, you're in the clubhouse basically. So it's almost like you have your own private pool, except, you know, you're going to have some friends there sometimes. And then this is the water fountain that you saw in the video and everything. All right, we're going to zoom out. You will see that this is the neighborhood of Lomas de Ajijic. And how you get into here is right up here at the very tippy top of where all the properties end at the top of the mountain. And here's Ajijic Centro here. And then this, anything on the mountainside of the carretera is called considered Upper Ajijic. And then all of this down here is uh, Ajijic Centro. It would take you about 20 minutes to walk down to the plaza from this place. So you would come out of the gated community and then just head on down to Centro Ajijic. You've got Walmart right here, which you could actually probably walk to. I don't think it would be too bad of a walk. And then you've got the mall right here that has the food court and the um, movie theater, casino, all that good stuff. Also something of note, this is the house here. This is Farmacia Guadalajara here. And it's a big pharmacy. Uh, if you're from the US, I would think maybe like CVS or Walgreens is the equivalent of Farmacia Guadalajara's. And if you come down just a little bit more, um, you have Supermercado El Torito right here, which is where you can do some grocery shopping. And that's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it brought some insight to you. I hope you enjoyed looking at these homes. If you're looking to buy or sell in the Lake Chapala area, please contact me at amanda at lakechapalarealty.com. And I will see you next week. Bye.